the Void Trader has returned, and instead of doing this mission to get Equinox's helmet, oh, I want to do that so bad. We're going to go see where he is instead. And there he is, literally just spawned in. <laughs> He's on the Orcus relay on Pluto, and please have a weapon. Please have something, anything useful. There's actually, there's only me and, oh, no, wait, they left as well. There's only me here. Everyone else has kind of left. I'm all alone. There's nobody here. Just me and... I cannot remember what the cool... Oh, Salem. So, what does... <laughs> I just noticed his feet. What does Barrow have today on the PC? He has junk. God damn it. He actually brought Tempo Royale. That is a pretty decent stance, actually. That is worth getting your hands on. It goes well in the Skindo Prime, the Gram, and I think it fits in the uh, Gracata. That is 385 Ducats and 175,000 credits. The Primed Morphix... <laughs> yeah, that's an Arcwing mod. That is... If you play a lot of Arcwing, that is worth it. Um... If you don't, the only reason it's not is because it's a 16 point mod. That means you have to format the Arcwing stuff and not a lot of people have done that because it takes a long, long, long time to level up Arcwing stuff. They said they'd fixed it, but... So it is worth getting a hold of because obviously it's going to be better than the normal one, but the amount you've got to put in, the amount of points it takes up, unless you're going to max it, doesn't really... Uh, balance out. It's 350 ducats and 150,000 credits. That is worth it. The Prisma Scanner is definitely worth it. It's 510 ducats, which is expensive, and 175,000 credits. But the, yeah, this thing is one of the most sought after weapons you'll see inside of any of the trading channel, you can actually see people's names from them spawn in. In the trading channel, a lot of people want this. I have seen this go for insane amount of platinum. It's now worth a lot less platinum because it has come back. Again, Temple Royale, first time that's been here. Prisma Scanner has been here before. The Primed Morphic Transformer, that is new. Now, let's head over and see what the console has. Well, to be honest, they got the good haul again. This is the second time in a row. They got the Prisma Tetra for 400 ducats and 50,000 credits. That's very cheap on the credits. The Prime Slip Magazine, which is plus 55 magazine capacity when full, for 280 ducats and 200,000 credits. Then there's the Prisma Hecate Sandana. That's actually a pretty nice look. It's not as nice as the normal one, but it is still nice looking. That's 250 ducats and 300,000 credits. Then there's Primed Heavy Trauma, which is actually a good mod for impact damage. It's actually better than the the event one. is only 120% to impact damage. This thing is 165% to impact damage when maxed. And for 350 ducats and 100,000 credits, that could come in useful. But it is for melee, and Slip Magazine is for pistol. So eventually they will have a, the primed version of that for the normal impact for secondary and primary weapons. Then it's going to be really worth getting a hold of. But the fact that uh, they got the better of Barrow's halls again. Yes, the PC got a decent one, but starting to look like the favourite consoles. It's not, because we've had this one. But on the PC, as you can see, Temple Royale is not a bad bring for him. That is an it was, sorry, an event specific uh, stance for Heavy Blade. But now it's available to buy, which means there will be a lot more available. The price of it in the trading is going to come down a lot. And I am fighting the urge to buy that because that could be really, really useful. And I, it was a losing battle. There's nothing I could do about it. Goodbye. No, no, don't drop me below 50 million. It took me so long to get over that. And I think I may have... If this glitches on me again, buying stuff from him... Well... That sucks.
And let's be honest about this, the Prisma Scanner, that is also a good weapon. As I say, people were going mad to get this thing to come back and most of the time it's going for over 300 platinum in trading. But remember, before you rush in and buy it, it's not going to be that much anymore. It's going to be a lot less because it has come back. That is pretty much worthless because people are going to buy them and store them for, to sell later on and the market's going to be flooded with them now because people know it's worth money, the same as the stances were. That is now worth a lot less than it was before, which is a bit of a shame. So remember, these will be gone on Sunday. It's either lunchtime or about then. That is a lot of people. I'm trying to... Wow, that is a lot of Ember Primes. Actually, I can pick two out just by instantly looking at it. There's a Trinity at the... Sorry, I'm getting distracted by the... No, wait, three. That's a Trinity Prime there. The Trinity. Yeah. That's an Ember Prime. I'm getting seriously distracted. Oh, look. And there's three Trinity Primes. Three Ember Primes. And that was without really looking into the crowd of what's actually here. So, yes, remember, these will be gone on Sunday... So you've only got two days to actually get here and get them. You, I will show you on the terminals, but they seem to be covered in people. These will be the people trying to buy the weapon. There you go. One day, 23 hours, 44. So I've actually been in here for 15 minutes nearly. So yes, if you want them, remember, try and get in here before Sunday. Otherwise, don't worry. He will bring them back eventually. As I say, the scanner here... Your this is a repeat. This has been here before. But we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Whee!